Hello everyone and welcome to BHD Studios. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I post-process and de-squeeze my anamorphic images that I take using this anamorphic lens. And I'll be doing this on a very unique laptop that was sent to me from Intel, so thank you so much Intel, which is the ASUS ROG Zephyrus Dual 15 powered by 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor. Now this is the beast of a computer, and so doing these type of tasks are easy when you have this much horsepower behind whatever you're doing. And having these dual screens, I'm gonna share with you here the Screen Pad Plus. You can see now I am using OBS to shoot this video, and down below there is OBS running, but I can have anything down there. I can split this up and put a, a chat in there or put a calculator or whatever else I want, but it allows me to use these two screens and even doing these type of tutorials makes my life a lot easier. So let me share with you then how I create this image from a squeezed image and de-squeeze. So let's start the video now. So the first thing I do, as you can see, is I actually put this app called Photoscape on the bottom screen, and I have Photoshop up here in the top screen. And here you can see all the folders, and I've gone straight directly to the folder here, and I found the photo that I like, and it's nice Photoscape allows you to show both the JPEGs and the RAW files here. So I just grab it and I drag it and just drop it. All right, and so this is the raw image here, and I am going to, the first thing is I'm gonna pick is the color profile here. I do like classic neg, you can see that, but I think for images where you have a lot of uh, these colors that are popping. I don't want to mute anything like that. It does look very cinematic like this, very well graded, but I actually like Provia. It's just a bit punchier for night photography, All right? So I'm going to pick Provia back out here. And the next thing I usually do is play around with exposure and contrast. So highlights, you can sort of see in the highlights there, um, the stairs right over here. I don't want it too blown out, but I do want it to look a little punchy. So maybe just drop this a little bit and increase the exposure just a bit there and I can control the the blown out highlights by using the highlight slider here and shadows is yeah I mean having it up like this is really nice and you can see here the clarity is up because you want you can see a bit of a haze and that's because I'm shooting through the windshield of my car right there and then now we're going to play around with the temperature now you can see that looks too orange and you could see the image is almost split in two. The far right is very green and the far left is very purpley. So it's just a matter of tweaking this. There you go. All right, so this is about where I want the image to be. And now I'm gonna open this. Here we go. And we are now open. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over just to the screen here. Here we go. Now we're in regular Photoshop and so far so good. So from here, I do like adding a little bit of sharpening to this. So I like using unsharp mask. You can move into a critical part of the scene here and just see how much sharpening you can add. There you go. See, that, that looks pretty good there. Hit OK. We go up to image. and This is where we de-squeeze the image, all right? We go up here, you go to image size, and you can see here, make sure this is not linked, okay? Now you see here it says width is 6240. Now when we de-squeeze this way, we want to stretch this out by 1.33 times. So you basically times 6240 by 1.33. We're going to just bring up the calculator app and you could see either I could just touch on the screen for the calculator or I can use the the touchpad that actually converts over to a numpad, which is pretty cool. And so 6240 all right, times that by 1.33, okay? So I have the calculator up here, and so tap on the calculator. So 6240 times 1.33 equals 8299, right? So 8299, so we type 8299 up in here, okay? And then use the, the virtual numpad again, so 8299. It will ignore the point two. And then here, let's go just do screen grab. Here we go. So let's press OK. And again, make sure this is not connected. There you go. Do you see that? D squeeze. We could do Control Z just to see what it was before. There you go. Alt Control Z to go back again. So you can see there, just toggling back and forth. 
So the original, so you can see to the uh, to the far right, 6240 by 4160. If you multiply that, that's basically a 26 megapixel image. And then when you de-squeeze here, and now it becomes, as you can see to the far right here, it becomes 8299 by 4160. So it's very close to a two to one aspect ratio. And if you do the math, that's about a 34 megapixel virtually 34 megapixel image by de-squeezing it here. So from here, all we do is control S to save the image. We'll save it to desktop here, hit save, image quality. It ends up becoming a 22 megabyte image. Close this, you could see the image here, double click. Here we are, check it out. And so that's how I de-squeeze. All right, bonus round. For those of you who are wondering, man, that's a lot of work to de-squeeze an image one by one. There is another trick. I open up Photoscape and I'm in this feature called batch. You can batch process. So let me just grab a few images. You just throw them up here, whatever you want. Throw them up here, throw them up here, throw them up here, and throw them up here. And let's pick one more. And there you go. So these are the images that I picked here. And you could see here, I already typed in the aspect ratio here, 8299 by 4160, all right? They're already de-squeezed for me. And as long as you pick this feature where you are stretching the image, once you do that, all you do is hit save. So again, make sure you remember the aspect ratio, uh, the, uh, the resolution 8299 by 4160 for my images. And then all you do is put it into a subfolder and you just hit okay and it just batch processes everything. Look at that, look how fast it's going through. And then you show an explorer, and here are all the images that I just de-squeezed here using Photoscape's batch processing. And there you go, that is how you process and de-squeeze your anamorphic images using the new ASUS ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 powered by 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor. Thank you again, Intel, for sending me this computer and be able to share my workflow. Again, having these two screens here, let me just show you again, using that screen pad plus, and I'm using OBS to basically manage my screen and record everything that is on screen. It makes everything so much easier. You can see that I actually do have a monitor in behind me, but I often do work from home. And, and this computer is basically a desktop class laptop because I can do everything that I, I can do on a desktop in a much more compact form factor and yet still have the same power as a desktop. And so thanks again, Intel. Thank you for watching. Again, any questions, let me know down below and we'll talk to you soon. Happy shooting.